In this video, we're going to format our book for publication as an ebook on Kindle Direct Publishing, or KDP. This process, in my opinion, is much easier than formatting for paperbacks, and can be done almost entirely in Microsoft Word. First, create a new document in Microsoft Word. Don't worry about changing the page size or margins. Before we add our book's contents, KDP requires that we add an image displaying our book's front cover at the beginning. If you've already followed the steps in our series on how to self-publish your book, you should already have a full cover suitable for paperback publishing. To isolate the front cover, open the file in Adobe Photoshop, then click File, Export, and Export As. Make sure the format is JPEG or PNG, then click Export. Save the file in your book folder under a title like KDP Cover Rough. Next, open up the file you just saved in Paint. Zoom out, click the Select tool, and then click and drag to select the front cover. Right-click on the selection to copy it, then head over to your Word document and paste the cover into it. Next, we'll need to add our book's front matter. I usually like my front matter to consist of a boring title page, followed by a page containing author and copyright information, followed by a fancier title page. So that's what I'm going to add. It's important to understand that your Kindle book will not have the same natural page divisions as your Microsoft Word document. To create page divisions that will appear in your Kindle book, you'll need to place your cursor after the last thing you want to appear on a page, then click Insert and Page Break. After adding your front matter, you'll need to create a table of contents. For now, all you need to do is type the words Table of Contents, then click Insert Page Break. We'll come back to this in the next video. Now it's time for us to add our chapters. Before copying and pasting my chapters straight into my book, I like to clean them up first in a separate Word document. First, I hold Ctrl A to highlight all my text. Then I make everything a uniform size and font. Next, I go through my chapters and insert page breaks at the ends of each subsection, since I personally like to have each subsection begin on a new page in my Kindle books. That accomplished, I hold Ctrl A to highlight everything again, copy the whole chapter, and paste it into my Word document. I'll repeat this process for each of the chapters in my book, being sure to insert a page break at the end of each chapter. In the next video, I'll show you how to turn the chapter titles in your table of contents into clickable links. See you there.